Okay, so which one of these things did not happen to Jay Bird over the last couple of days? He is back with us here today after going all out at the chili cook-off on Saturday. So as he uh, got up and out and about, did he have a friend overflow his toilet? Did he have a stranger return a $50 bill that he had dropped? Did he pay for gas but then forgot and drove away without pumping it? Did he buy a coat at Goodwill that had a roach in the pocket? Or did he see three ex-girlfriends at the chili cook-off? I'm kind of going for the coat here from Goodwill, though. I think maybe the gas might be my runner-up. What do you think, Virginia? I'm going with the coat from Goodwill as well. Okay, Bert, which one of these things did not happen to the you? The coat did not happen. Okay. You guys are right. All right. Don't okay. get on the bird. Look at that. So you did it again, huh? You paid for gas and then drove away? <laughs> Dude. Without pumping it? Yes. Oh, did you no. see gas is now getting low again? Two ninety nine a gallon. I saw this morning. I Doesn't did. matter. He still won't pump it. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even. It, 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 it was one of them things where as soon as you drove off and you made a left, you're you're on the highway. You couldn't get off. I couldn't oh, get my boy. gas. So you just <laughs> took off. Be so confused. Be like that guy just pay for gas and leave. I, I there, there was too much on my mind. There was too, <laughs> again. This is post chili, so <laughs> I was rattled. Okay. <laughs> a little thrown off. A little thrown off. Uh, a friend uh, overflowed your toilet? Sure did. We won't say the name. Come on. Do I know him? You know all my friends. It so was a guy. I know it was a guy. It was definitely a guy. Is it a guy I like? I, I don't want to go. I'm not doxing nobody. <laughs> I don't want to do that. But yes, somebody overflowed my toilet. And it, it, I will say it was nothing... It was nothing awesome about it. Uh, was it after the chili cook-off? Was it one of the persons that <laughs> was out right. there that ate a bunch of chili? No, it wasn't. It was before the cook-off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, got a $50 bill returned to you, which is nice when you forget to uh, pump your gas. You're right. Mm -hmm. I'm still on top. Okay. I'm, still, I'm still on top. <laughs> kind of, even though it was your $50 to begin with, but still, you, know, I, you uh, didn't lose it at least. I'm positioning that way. You're only throwing away money at the gas station. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and three ex-girlfriends were there at the chili cook-off, huh? The chili Sure were okay. three with their respective significant others. Got to meet them as well. Oh, awkward! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. This is Jay Bird, or as I call him, the one that got away. I just I feel like they all want to stab me. <laughs> <laughs> and they all came up to you first. Yes, at, okay. at the booth. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, get... so they they in a sense they sought you out because there was no mistaking. What that booth was. I could not. I really, I mean, Virginia will tell you, I really couldn't leave the booth. That was no. there the whole time. Yeah. It was all hands on deck. And I even had to recruit my friends. And like, seriously, seven friends had to come back and help us. Well, even when we ran out of chili, there was still a line of people that which wanted to, you know, chill and talk and hang out for a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's so. cool. Okay. Well, good times. This is how we do it. It's the KBJ Show.